pam 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 the peter dislike show pam 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 well my first um, art show here at phoenix college uh for the holidays uh i got a lot more than this stuff obviously but uh, my first time around i'll get to see uh how this stuff does three different medals i have uh this is my uh, now famous zinc Buddha. Very easy to pour, very easy for me to get zinc to pour. And so I have um, close to 800 of them, if I at last count, if I remember correctly. I gave away a bunch of them at the uh, a party, um, Christmas party earlier in the weekend. Uh, this one is the uh, recycled uh, bismuth tin shot. Uh, much more durable than pure bismuth. The, the only downside is that you can't anodize it, right? Um, I would so much love to find out a way to uh, make, uh, to anodize. This is 94% bismuth and 6% tin, but it pours a lot more accurately, right? Because it, it has a much uh, lower uh, freezing point, but at the same time doesn't anodize, right? This is my now famous uh, five inch Buddha made of pure bismuth and obviously you can anodize it. This is one of the few silicone molds that bismuth actually does a real good job at pouring in large part because you got this really large surface area at the back. You can pour it and get a couple seconds to correct uh, any uh, impurities in there uh, or uh, you could also sand at the end of it, right? I'm still experimenting with the best combination of that to uh, to get the right, uh, I use uh, uh, quadruple zero uh, steel wool to file it down and so actually my friend kind of laughed at me because I was doing that and so uh, I uh, collected all the filings to recycle into my next batch of bismuth and she thought, gee, how much is bismuth worth? She thought I was working with some kind of precious metal and I told her, well, no, but it's rare, so, and uh, I treat it like it's a precious metal. This one doesn't pour nearly as well because of the small uh, surface area of the opening. A lot of times it bulges out and then it doesn't stand correctly. It takes a lot of uh, work to then file it down. And then at the extreme level, this one doesn't even stand at all, but it's uh, still a good pour. You can still anodize it. And depending on the voltage of the anodization, you got several different combinations of colors. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this mold isn't exactly very durable and I haven't been able to find another one. Uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, this one, uh, again, doesn't pour very well, but for some reason I was able to uh, pour into the mold and then place something on top of it. I have a graphite mold that I place right on top of it after the pour. And you can kind of work around the expansion. And as, assuming you also anodize at the end, right? Those sharp edges can be, uh, can be anodized away so that it, uh, to, to give a solid uh, metal uh, to stand on, right? I was just watching a, a a video from uh, Radioactive Drew and he was talking about uh, some lead shielding and how he was planning to anodize it. Uh, unfortunately, a small piece of bismuth broke off. I'm going to collect that to uh, recycle later. Like I said, I, I really despise losing any of the metal. Uh, he was talking about anodizing some lead to make it safe to touch and um, I'm going to have to look into that because uh, lead does pour some, especially this guy, really well. Unfortunately, it's not exactly safe to touch after you do that, right? So I'm going to have to look into, if I, first of all, if I can anodize it to some kind of color and that way it doesn't rub off on you, right? Uh, these guys are graphite molds. You can definitely pour all sorts of metals with that. Uh, this one I might consider pouring out of lead because I can put it into a frame so it wouldn't have any of the toxicity issues. 
Uh, you can do all sorts of metals with that. Um, I would imagine you could also pour copper and silver with it, although it's a lot more damaging to the graphite mold because of the higher temperatures, obviously. But with it safely behind the frame, I'm thinking about a lead, thallium, uh, cadmium, obviously, and maybe uh, uh, some other metals that you might not think about wanting to touch because it's behind a frame, right? So uh, maybe, uh, uh, I don't know if pure antimony would, would, would pour very well. I've, I've worked with alloys of antimony, not, not straight up antimony. This one is my most proudest pour. I really don't want to sell it unless I can get some good money for it. Uh, I have a little nickname for this piece. I call it the Putin Dirty Bomb. And the reason for that is that bismuth can be used to make polonium-210, which the Russians love for executions. Um, and what I'm thinking is that anybody here who's a chemist, if you can correct me, um, if we could launch a geode like that into outer space and then have some kind of a device that can concentrate neutrons so that the neutrons can be absorbed into the crystal and it would activate into polonium. In my mind, I tend to think of it as, as it's being activated, it starts glowing. Feel free to leave a comment if I'm mistaken about that. And we can launch something like that into outer space, collect all the neutrons to activate this into polonium and have it blow up just atop the Kremlin. Uh, so that's why I, I, I gave this piece a little bit of a nickname, the Putin Dirty Bomb because it turned out so well that it would just, it, it would just go down in history, right? Uh, as something that uh, we used to execute Putin. This one I made quite by mistake, actually. I spilled some bismuth on the ground and it made this, uh, unfortunately, uh, it broke as I was moving it, but uh, still not bad. Here's another uh, Putin dirty bomb that well, didn't quite finish. Uh, but instead, you got these uh, crystals at the edges of it. And then a bunch of loose crystals from all the uh, attempts at it. Anyway, uh, my first art show here at Phoenix College. This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.